Hello folks, welcome back and very really warm welcome to any new subscribers that have come on board. I really appreciate you um, subscribing. Now then, we've come to almost the end of the book, right? Now I wasn't going to come on video, I was just going to finish the book off camera and then just do a quick flip through because I do realise, you know, these videos, the last one was really long, you know, and it, it can drag on a little bit if you've got like lots and lots of episodes, you know what I mean? But I thought, well, I'm, I'm just going to come on, you know, finish finish it off uh, as much as I can with what I've got. So, let's have a delve in the book first before I go through this one. I haven't put this cover on. I was going to put another um, cover on the front, but I'll do that after. So this is how far we've come. We've just got a little envelope there, yeah, for little letters or messages. Or whatever i mean i might put pop something in there i'll have a look in my stash see if i can i don't know i've got like a couple of things i might be able to pull out not necessarily some stuff that's made from the book or from this country flowers book you know it's just to give you an idea uh you know and i might be able to pop another one in i'm just pulling some tags off my stash uh what have we got here just just to give you a sort of clue what you can do plus it'll give me an idea how junkie she's getting <laughs> right now then we've got this one here we've got a little tag that i did yeah and then we've got a nice big opening we've got a blank one here that i'll probably put a side tuck we'll see what i can get out the stash big opening here that's going to need some paper there right this is what we did the other night i found this in my stash it was one of the bottoms of the books and I thought, right, that's okay. I've gone round it with the blue marker. And that goes in there, lovely. And then all I've got to do is get something like this. Maybe that one, because that's like a nice colour. Fold him in half. He's going to be wide enough. And it doesn't matter if it's not the same width. So there we go. Look, we've got a little pad now. A little, um, little notebook. And if I tuck it under there... Under that flower it should say shut if she's uh, gonna do as, as told there we go i think that's a nice little cute addition the other thing we can do is make a um paper clip uh thing to hold it on with something i mean i've got all these bits that i've been chopping off just to you know make additions got a got a word a thing there look i could no, we don't need to use that. I'll use up something else. What have we got here? Ah, there they are. Look, this is what I did. I pulled out the... I just pulled some of these out of my stash. You know, paper clips. What you can do is... I mean, you can pop that on the back there, like that. You know, and it's... Well, that way, I suppose. And it's just on the back. But then when you pop that on your page, you will see that paper clip. Or you can do this um, trick where... Pop that on there like that, right? So that's your paper clip. So we'll do it the other way. We'll do it that way. So we've got the length, the good, the good length that side. And then, I mean, I have got got a bit of a pattern there. You'll see what I'm going to do. Um, let's pull some of these off. Let's have a look what we've got. There's one there with a bit of a pattern. Or oh, that one even. What is that saying? Yeah, right. Okay. So what you can do now is like fold, fold that. I'm gonna fold it so I can sort of I don't know, not not quite as deep as that. Maybe just bring it to about there. As long as it's deep enough to cover that, you'll see what I'm gonna do. Nothing, you know, complicated. Nothing difficult. I'm not going down that road. I want to do the corners though, but I'm not gonna get me glue sticky thing out you know to, i'm just gonna eyeball eyeball the corners like that but they're not brilliant but i just wanted to give you the you know the, the idea and then what you do is right you can uh stick this on with something right where's my tape gone i've got some stuff up here i don't know somewhere you can use a, a glue you know a bit of glue if you know you've got some glue that sticks metal or you know get just get a bit of tape like that on there i mean this isn't the, the best it's just masking isn't it so it's not you know it 
will peel you know it's likely to peel but this will keep your staple not your staple it's turned and that has look this should keep your paper clip steady yeah save it from wiggling around you know it should really keep it like that and what you do is you get your top bit and you pop that on there like that and you've concealed that paper clip but you've got the strength of the grip of the paper clip in there right so i mean this is probably a bit deep to be fair yeah it's probably a bit on the deep side so let's let's just alter it what have we got on the other side i just like that pattern so i wanted to conserve the pattern so let's just pull it up a fraction just so that it doesn't look out of place right there we go that's a bit better I mean you can leave one tail long if you want to you haven't got to chop it off you can leave that on I mean I have got a fold there now look where I've doofed it but you're not gonna sort of see that when you've got that on there like that right so let's just chop this down Done a very good job of that. Just chopping that round. Bit um, bit messy. Let's put the clip back on. Put him back on there. Put a bit of tape on just to secure it. Where's that little tape? Yeah, these are these. So these are the easiest altered paper clips I know. You know, and um, they are really really simple. I didn't want to overcomplicate the stuff. You see. lid on that otherwise it'll be marking everything so what i need is a bit of glue on here yeah i mean it hasn't got to go all the way down but you know a good a good whack in the middle where that's going to be attached to that paper clip yeah there we go and what you can do as well is get yourself a i don't know something you cut out a quote or a flower anything really I'm just going to pull out what I can see in here that I like the look of have we got anything that's got any any blue on it I know I haven't got a lot of blue we've got greens roses and fuchsias and they're not roses and fuchsias are they they're they're pink lilac um, like lilac is type things. Got one of these. I mean you could put a little cluster on there or just a button or you know anything really to make it pretty. But I haven't actually got anything in here that's blue. <laughs> so right, we'll just uh this is just the idea that I wanted to show you. Fingers crossed that's dry. Now to keep this still. Is what we're going to do see if it works there we go i can feel that clip brilliant so there there we go and i've got a few here look that i've been putting together so we could use a few of those in the journal throughout the book but you know you can make them a bit more pretty you know a bit more rather than just plain like that and put something on it I like something like that you know a bit of a cluster i could or even another one of them i could make one of those and pop one of those on there because that doesn't look very good there you know it's a bit it's a bit plain right so i mean that is going over that side but you you know you haven't got to put it there you could put it anywhere couldn't you i could put it i could put the book a bit further down and then instead of going all over that flower will it work if i do a bit go a bit further or i could do it actually to the belly round instead go in that way there you are and then take that off like that and slide it in there you are that's that's, that's a good one that's a job done this one now we want to do a little tag to go in here right so what i've pulled out is some of these uh pinky pinks i've got lot these roses here they're a bit they're a bit different to those um and that 
that that's that so that's what i want right right my plan was some kind of cluster down here and then that on top right so let's pull out the box of their uh, tricks well box of tricks but box of bits we've got some buttons in there maybe a few that are similar colors that's cute i like that but that ain't gonna come off is it some of these you can snap that off you know you can just get your get your tweezers and or pliers or whatever might use that might not we'll just pop them in there for now out the way what i want is some of this stuff Pop that there, the weather that's going to be right there, actually. Maybe that button, where's that button gone? And that was a nice one, but I don't think it'll stay, it won't stick, and this one won't unless I pull that off. We'll if I can do that. Now you might have some pliers in your, <laughs> in your toolbox, hopefully you have. It's going to work or not, you're going to do as you're told. Right, probably should use my snips, but I haven't got my snips in there, I've just got these pliers. And... Right, let's see if I can cut it. Oh, that would have been easier. <laughs> Would have been easier in the beginning. <laughs> Silly. Right, now this is going to be the thing. I'm going to have to bury that in there like that. So it's covered in a fair chunk of glue. And then just plonk it on. And then shall we have that under there like that? Because there's a bit of glue there, I could just see it sticking out. Right, so there we've got a sort of a, you know, a decent. Yeah, that'll do. I can always, like, do a, a chop if I have to I suppose pull that down so the tag like sometimes the these to come down you know like that there you are then I wanted to put a couple of bits of paper in but many pages I tell you it's uh it's gone it's done done, done. this is it that's that cover that I might put on the front of the book yeah now then what I've done here is I've got an envelope here to um show you to fold up right now all it is with these envelopes i've actually inked that with some of my inks so you can see where i folded so what i did was i looked at this and i thought right do i want that or should i have it the other way you know just have a play and think oh yeah that'll make the nice the flappy bit you know and that turned up so there we go look that's an envelope, right? But first, or if you want to, you know, I could have done it that way. Like that, yeah? So it's like a plain envelope, like that. But depending on how you want it. But first, what you need to do, you make these folds. Decide on the width of your flap. Decide on the width of the envelope, you know, what sort of uh, width you want it to be. And then the width of the flap that comes up, that forms the pocket. So that's what you've got to do first, and then make a mark, a, not mark, you know, a, a score line to do this, yeah? So that we can put our little hinges. These will make the hinges, and then if you want to make the edge of your envelopes nice, nice and smooth, just do a, an edge there as well, yeah, like that. And then I've just got that little edge, and it so happens that when these are all folded, all you've actually got is this brown showing so it's worked out okay so what we need to do first to do this envelope now this was a joey Fee envelope uh, from made from a whole book page that she was using in encyclopedia pages so yeah it's from her so you know she's made loads because we've got our little things to fold in that one's not as pretty as that one that's you know it's just because that was the edge of the book page and then we turn that up and stick it down well first we're going to stick this down so we've got a good, uh, where's my board gone? 
that I've been working on, so that I don't get no sticky on me, me deck. So that will give a nice edge to your pocket, instead of it being a nasty, sharp, what do I call paper cut edge? <laughs> I hate paper cuts. And I'll tell you what where you can get, get a cut from. Cotton. That's another one. I've had cuts from cotton. You know, when I've been trying to snap it. Oh, God. That kills as well. <laughs> proper, like, proper stingy. And then when you get something in it, when you're, when you're uh, doing some cooking or whatever, you get like, ah, all stings. So there we go. We stick that down there. Don't put your glue on this because, you know, you don't know how far up you've got to go. Put your glue there. But we won't use the print for that. We'll use this bead because we don't want to steal too much of our pocket, you know, if we'd run over with it. I mean, if you could, you could put it on the very edge, you know, if you... When you use tacky glue and things like that, they do tend to stick better, I suppose. But then, in saying that, this Pritt stick that I've been using, I mean, it is, that's what it's called, Pritt Original. But I know in different countries you can get different types, you know, Yoohoo and Scotch and... Uh, I think there's a, another strong, there's a strong one in there, uh, Gorilla, there's a, a Gorilla one, Gorilla Glue, there's a few different ones isn't there, and then we'll put that on there, like that, I mean I'm, my folding's not brilliant, you can see a bit of the, the beige, but I'm not going to worry about that, and then what you do with the top, you can decide if you just want a straight one, you know, a straight flat, um, or put a bit of a slope on it, you know, like a little slope, little corners should we just take corners off just a fraction not a load just a bit like that just to make it look like an envelope but yeah you, so there you go you can make envelopes from any paper any sort of size really it's just a basic envelope right and then what we can do is we can put a closure on there we can use a button and a um you know a string or we can do, you know, a couple of these if I've got any sort of nice ones. I know there was a few in here that were like uh, this sort of thing on, like a uh, fleur de lis, no, not fleur de lis, coat of arms, you know. I know there was a couple of them. Now what we'd normally do is um, we'd pop these on with an eyelet thing, you know, an eyelet uh, or a brad. But you've probably not got brads, you've got paper clips. You might have paper clips, you know, these sort of things. Um, and you all know what a paper clip is, I'm sure you do. But I know you're not going to have no fancy ones, yeah? You know, you, you might have a few of these knocking about, these plain ones. The only problem is with these, they've got big long legs because they're not made for crafting, yeah? So when you pop that on there, them legs are going to be almost sticking out, yeah? They're, you know, a bit difficult, I'll show you. No, I won't because I don't really want to put in a hole in that centre. Yeah. What I do, I think, what I should do is we'll stick them on with a, a bead of this and we'll just wait for them to adhere, you know, before I put some... Um, cotton on you know what i'm saying because these uh glues they're not sticking are they the pbas especially on shiny stuff you know is they don't want to uh, play ball that's going i'm going to put that over there so it's not like covering that butterfly you didn't want it to cover the butterfly i mean you could just put a hole in that actually yeah could just do that instead and just put the string through there yeah that's what i'm gonna do i could put similar sort of thing where's that other one gone you know i could put that on there like that yeah if i wanted to do a similar closure but what we'll do with this is maybe pop that on there like that i mean i could have used those nice fancy buttons and put a button there i might do that yeah depends on you know what i want to do so let's just get some glue on that. That's it. Now, what I was going to do, which I haven't, is cover this, you know, with something. We haven't, I just haven't, haven't had the time. I've been too busy 
making all the little pockets and stuff so that's that one done two pages done done and dusted these now i've got another pocket here another envelope here so let's um just do this one Let's see what we can do with this. So that's like a little envelope there. So that's sort of covered that. It's doing two jobs in one, yeah? Now, so to cover that, what we need to do is do this bead here. So we're not losing our pocket at the back. Now the glue won't come out. Because this is what happens when you forget to put your lid in, put your pin in. There's one there, another one there, another one there, and then we'll have it going that way. So that needs to be a bit of glue there, because I know the bottom's touching a page. I know that's touching, and then I know that's going to be up against the centre. You could put a bit of glue there like that, just you know, just a smidge. I could have put some print there and that would have gripped it. You know, it would have helped me. So, let's stick that down. I'll tell you what, that's worked out really well. Look, look at that. That looks like, that's like a, it should be, like that's, that looks like part of that plant. It's weird, isn't it, that, how that's turned out. Quicky. I'm liking how these, this is coming together. I've got that one left and we've got these two. Right, let's quickly have a look what we've got. I've got these big pieces here, these flowers that I've chopped up, yeah? That was a Christmassy one, so obviously I didn't want that. That was just a page, a blank page. So these could be journaling cards, right? You could just stick them, put some blank on the back, some of this. Yeah, just back it. So you've got a nice big card, right? Like this. Stick that on there like that. Let's do it now. We'll leave them to dry and then what we'll do is this is pull out the remaining pages there's not a lot left we've only got i think there's only a couple yeah i thought there was see this is all we've got look so that's it a whole book used right i've not wasted hardly any you know anything i've wasted it's just been bits that i've chopped off that we don't need so what i'm going to do is pop Enough of this to cover, I need, so I know how much I need. I need at least that wheat, right? So if I know that's the width that I need to that wheat, I'll go a little bit wider. And we'll do the same with this. This one. So it's like, uh, I'm just going to get this because it's quick. I don't want to grab anything else. what we've got to do the same again with the edges the bead of glue and that will seal up on don't take them too close to the seam to the join because when they fold you know they may curl up on each other so just you know just leave them a few sort of mill apart or whatever you want to say quarter inch apart or something I mean that might need a bit there but you know what? That could be a tuck spot. That one's sealed. Yeah. But yeah, you could you could do that if you wanted to. So right, that's that. We need something here. But I don't know what we're gonna put there now. Uh, I'm gonna have to look in me my stash, aren't I? What I've got. What we got here. Right, that's one of them things I've cut down in that one. So right, flower wise, I think I like them better. They could be Tuck spots, they're uh, not tuck spots, you know, journaling cards. You know what? That looks nice on there, doesn't it? You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to make a tuck. Which way, though? I've got an, a side opener. 
no it hasn't so we could have the tuck there well let's mark it up so I know how much to cut off let's get it like this mark that there and then we'll fold that in as much as we can probably about an inch or so right I reckon yeah. Bit right, we'll cut that. Yeah, I'm really impressed how this has come together to be honest. I didn't have much sort of uh, faith, really, you know, thinking, Oh, this is I might empty depth here, you know, because I didn't really know what what I was doing, what I was doing, you know, it's just trying to make things come to me as, as I was like putting it together. Now, then, shall I just fold that over there like that, and then that'll make a good use a trusty uh, pudding spoon <laughs> with a good end for doing our thingy doing our uh, score line see that's gone over really nice easy there's no way you'd be able to do that manually you know like just by guessing you know so i've tried i mean oh you know i end up in a mess i end up it being ruckled and i end up folding it a different way and so that's our nice edge then all we've got to do now is put that on there to form the pocket so what we'll do is we'll that's the edge i don't want glue on so i'll hold it this side depending on the size of your tag you know it depends what sort of width of glue or i mean you might have double-sided tape you know and that's an idea as well but with double-sided tape, you can't sometimes, if your pockets are a bit snug to what you're poking in your pockets, it can be a bit, uh, it can sort of grip your tags or whatever you're tucking in your pockets, you know. Another tip when you're doing this sort of thing, if you want a bit of a, gus not a gusset, but a bit of sort of leeway, poke something in, you know, like a pencil or like that, and then stick you know you know what i'm saying but i think that's pretty that's got a good thing a good opening Let's make sure that's not going to impede on that when i fold yeah so that should stick we do as he's told a lot of clips on these i don't think i have i don't know i've done them all probably put them all away the other night when i was tidying Yeah, so you can pop something in there, a little letter or an envelope, something like that. Centres, now these, what did I say we're going to do? Maybe a couple of uh, belly bands or pockets. What have we got? Put that for the front page. Um, I've got some little things I can make, some more tags. There's not a lot here, you know, to play with. I must admit, it's very few and sparse. Few. What else have I got? Oh, I knew I'd got other stuff, didn't I? Yeah. Um, I was thinking, is this all I've got here? Look, this, <laughs> just these scraps here, look. I thought, hey, surely I've not used everything. Because this is what I've got left, look. That's it. Apart from those two things that we put the uh, these two here. Yeah, we've done the journaling cards, the large journal. And then we've got the others. Where are they? They're here, yeah. This one. Yeah. So there's that one that I could do a journey card with. So shall I do that? While I'm here, I've got the hand. So yeah, this is what I've got. And then the little box, wherever she's gone. There she is, the other box. And I've got this here. This is another one and that one. And these little ones here, look, that I could make some tags with. So there are, there's a few little things that we could make. This is, I thought this could make a, a tag with a tag. I obviously scored that so that I can stick it down. And some grey board. Yeah, I didn't want to leave, do another video. 
and I didn't want to do it off camera. I just wanted to complete it on camera. You know, I wanted you, you guys to see it and finished. I know not everybody wants to sit and watch hours and hours of videos. I do. But then that's all I do, you know. Don't really watch a lot of telly, like. I do like to watch the odd series like, and just follow on, you know, follow the series and just finish it. And then, you know, start on another series. But I do go back to my favourite ones as well. You know, that I like to do reruns. But I don't watch a lot of normal telly. I have got telly on now. You know, most people just have telly on in the background, don't they? But I tell you what, I'm not having my big telly on. I've took, I have actually took my big telly out because it was costing me one pound, sorry, one pound forty eight a day to have on for eight hours. And I thought, whoa. So if I had that on every day, you know, for a month, oh, that was costing me a fair whack of the. It's already costing three hundred dollar a month. So I'm, I'm trying to cut back, you know, with the old uh, electricity use. Now, do we want a hole? Yeah, let's just put a hole. Why do I keep losing all my gear? I'm just going to do a guess with this. Actually, that's not going to go in. So I'm going to have to put a dot. So that I can actually see if it's central. There we go. Right, so that's that. And then what we can do with this is pull out one of these fancy tags that I've got. You know, I've got... Um, I've got one I had a um, nice one. Here we go. Look, I did this one the other day, didn't I? There you are. That can go in there because it's yellow, 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 yellow. But only took him in a little bit. I'm gonna tuck it all the way down here. We could put something. Yeah. Right. Let me wear. Shall I fussy cut that? Yeah, try to. can go on there like that that's the plan and it mimics the one that's up there i'm just going to use this though i'm not going to use the print if you haven't got a, a nib you know a fine nib let's get something fine needle uh cotton bud with the end pulled off you know the cottony bit pulled off um a toothpick and just get your glue, you know, at your bottle on it and then just give it a, just put it on with the tip of the thing, what you've got. That has smudged out a little bit, but not too, not too bad. Right, that's brilliant. And what we could do is put a double, a double doodle in there, like, you know, a double one of these. And where's that other cool ribbon? That was handy, look at that. That don't happen, does it, all the time? <laughs> generally like there'd be something on the desk but it wouldn't be the right one the same as that look it was ironic that a couple of different ones in the um tub you know there's white and i think there's an orange one as well but i'm going to put quite a bit through this just to make it a bit more fancy you know like a few ends Make sure it's pulled level as well. Uh oh, I've got a situation now. Which which end has not pulled? So we'll go through all these then. See, that's me trying to be clever. Yeah, look, I pulled it out. <laughs> oh well. But I think that's that's fine. Me trying to be smart Alec. Yeah, we've got like yellow, haven't we? Like a bright yellow. I'll tell you what, that's going there. We shall do that then. Where did I say? So we'll have it about the same height as this one. So the glue needs to be there. 
up to about that so let's just pop it on and this should grip nice and quick so we've got a couple of tags now then here on opposite sides but they're not the same but they're both the same sort of height they're just you know but different styles and that won't come out because that is, is through the hole so you can't pull that out but you could have it dangling like that look if you wanted to or just tuck him in you can have a secret message on the back so that's that one right journal cards where's them journal cards yep so these can be the journal cards you could round the corners ink the edges yep Right, so that's a big, another big one. Which way should we put that in there in the back here? Okay, let's make sure that's not stuck because I didn't test it for stick and stuckness. And then we'll have a, one of them little tabs on there as well. I'll put something in here. Could put that in there if you wanted to. You know. That, that, that. Got one in there. That's it, we've got, so we've got a journey card in that one, except I haven't rounded the corners on that one. We've got a gap here at the moment, we've got a journey card in there or something. So all we've got left now is this central page, is this centre, and that's for the front. So what we could do is we could have a couple of pockets. What's this one? That's, a, that's another one. Yeah. So I'll just do a couple of pockets. So I'll make a couple of tags from that. I'll do that off camera. So this is what I was going to put in here, wasn't I? That, like that, and then have that as like a little, just a slot for that to go into, yeah? fancy maybe a couple of little doodles again like this look yeah so that now in essence should let me wrap that round there once this is stuck properly don't really want to pull it just yet just in case it does pull off but yeah it's not too bad i don't think i think it's sort of stuck there you are and then you can always put stuff on the ends like little charms or you know if you've got anything all right so let's get this in here now i wonder if that's dry you can ink around do your inking now all I've got to do now is do a matching pair of tags for that. So right, there we go, look. Let's get them off. So I think, tidy up time. Finish off a few of them bit of dangles and tags, yeah, and then I'll come back and I'll show you the finished article, yeah, and I'll see what uh, my next projects can be. Right, stay safe guys, bye.